Here's what I learned and did during my first wedding dress shopping appointment. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special day because this is the first day that I've gone to a bridal shop and looked at wedding dresses. So I wanted to talk to you all a little bit about how I prepped for it, what I took, and then I'll talk to you about the experience itself. So as I was prepping for this appointment, which I made a few weeks ago, um, I decided to make the appointment on this specific day because they were having a trunk show for one of the designers that I have completely fallen in love with after watching Say Yes to the Dress, which is Haley Page. Um, I've been looking at her dresses online for weeks and I kind of had an idea of what styles that I wanted, but I wasn't completely sold on one style of dress. So um, there were fitted dresses, there were ball gown dresses, there were strapless, there were strapped dresses. So um, I, I really wanted to use this first appointment to get a better idea of what kind of dress actually fits me, what makes me feel more like a bride and what I um, like and dislike about different styles. So coming into the appointment, I made sure that I took pictures of dresses that I found online, pictures of dresses that I found on Say Yes to the Dress from Pinterest and TikTok. And I went through all of those with the stylist once I got there, but I knew it would be really important since I couldn't specifically tell her like, oh, I want an A-line dress or I really like straps or anything to just show her things that she could pull and see the similarities since they do it so much because I couldn't see it. I was just pulling a bunch of random things in my mind, but she was able to pick through them and understand what I liked. And I think that was very helpful and made the appointment go a lot smoother. And um, she said that it was helpful for her to, to see what I've been looking at and what um, has been drawing my attention. So that was probably most important. Second, um, undergarments. So the stylist comes into the dressing room with you to help you um, take the dresses off if needed. So she would help me to unzip and unclip my dresses and it unzips pretty low. So you wanna make sure that you're wearing undergarments that you feel comfortable um, with other people seeing. And then also when you are trying on dresses, um, the panties that you wear, you probably would want to wear a seamless panty that doesn't have a lot of color. So I wore the no-show panties and um, they were nude colors. So I wasn't distracted by any colors showing through the white dresses. I also made sure that I wore a convertible, I call it convertible bra, but I don't know if that's the exact term for it, but one that I could turn into a strapless bra so it would fit different style dresses as well. And then for some dresses, I even had to go braless. So they were cut so low in the front. Um, it was just impossible to wear a bra where you couldn't see the bras, or it was impossible to wear the dress where you couldn't see the bra in the front. So there were times that I did have to actually pull it off underneath the dress. And then other things that I brought with me, I pretty much filled this tote up because I just wanted to make sure I was prepared for any and everything. And I went a little bit overboard. I'll tell you which things I used and didn't use during the appointment and which things I would actually use again or bring next time I go to look at wedding dresses. So the first thing is my phone and my tripod, um, which I'm using right now. So the phone itself, I wanted to make sure that it was charged. So I have my charger somewhere in here and the phone because none of my family lives in Seattle. So I wanted to make sure if I found something cute or something that I wanted their opinion on that I could quickly FaceTime them or show them a video. And then I also made sure that I had my little tripod so that I could stand my phone up in the fitting room if I wanted to, to show them the dresses. But luckily the place that I went to, which is A and B Bridal, they were so helpful, the stylist, um, she greeted me at the door and I told her that I didn't have anyone with me. Um, so she said that she would happily take video for me. And I FaceTimed my family. She held the phone as I was FaceTiming them. She talked to them. She um, 
remember their names and call them by names every time I um, FaceTime them to show me a new dress. So that was amazing. And I didn't actually have to use the tripod, but I would bring it just in case um, you don't have a stylist that is as helpful as she was. Um, another thing, I know that I mentioned the convertible bra that I wore, but I also brought different bras with different style straps just in case I needed that. And I definitely would bring these again. I would wear the convertible bra again. And um, I wanted to bring different colors too, just in case the black was distracting. I also brought heels. This is not the style of shoe that I would wear with my wedding dress, but I wanted to make sure that I brought a heel at a comfortable height, um, just in case I wanted to try the wedding dress on with heels. I did not use it this time. I don't plan to wear heels um, during the ceremony. So um, I am probably gonna go barefoot because it will be on the beach. And then when I come in for the reception, I'll wear a very short or no heel at all. So I didn't actually use these during this appointment, but I am going to continue to take these just in case. Then I of course brought my wallet just in case I found something that I love, especially since this was a trunk show. And if you see something, you should buy it then if you just love it because they have really good sales during the trunk show and um, a larger selection of the dresses that you are looking for from that specific designer. So they had a trunk show for Haley Page. And since I love her so much, I wanted to make sure that I was prepared and had my wallet ready in case I saw something that I needed to get today, which I didn't buy anything today. But I will show you the dresses that I did try on, except for one because I'm still thinking about it, um, about whether I want to buy it or not. And I wanna save that as a surprise in case I do buy it. Then I was super extra and I brought a tablet just in case either my phone stopped working or if um, the tripod wasn't a great way to stand the phone up. I thought this may be easier to just sit it on the floor or the table or something. But I will not take this next time because it was completely unnecessary. And then of course, it's COVID, I have my mask. And one thing about the mask, this was kind of distracting. So. Um, when I was looking at the dresses and even the videos that you'll see of the dresses, this stands out a lot. So I'm actually going to go online and purchase a white mask that I can use for my next appointment. Then I do use natural deodorant. So I brought some natural deodorant just in case I started sweating a lot and felt like I needed to refresh because the stylist is very close. She's helping you take these dresses off and put them on and then I didn't want to sweat on the dresses which I actually did not have a problem with it because I put this natural body powder on um, on top of the deodorant today so I know I haven't talked about the body powder and I do need to give you all an update on the deodorant as well but this definitely kept me dry and smelling fresh and amazing the entire time so I definitely will continue to bring those even though I didn't need them just in case the shop or the bridal salon is warmer than I expect it to be. And then the last thing I took were the lip balm and the lipstick. I took lip balm just so that my lips weren't chapped and I was comfortable for the full hour and a half, two hours that I was there. And then lipstick just in case I wanted to see the um, dress with a little color on my face and that is it those were like the most important things and um, I definitely will continue to use my bring my chapstick and lip balm of course because although I didn't use them if I did not have them and I needed them that would be a huge miss so that is all I took that is all I did to prepare um, I would recommend going in with a positive attitude as well. If you go in thinking that you're not going to find a dress, I think that that's definitely going to be the case. When I went in, I kind of felt like this wouldn't be the place that I would find my dress and um, like there's no way that I can buy a dress from the first shop that 
I go into. So that kind of made me a little scared as I went in. So I felt like if I purchased a dress today, then that's definitely the wrong choice. Um, I think it helped because it helped me to think about the dress long term and um, I told them that even though I really love the last dress that I tried on I need to take some time to sleep on it and look at other dresses but I am going to go into these next appointments with a more positive attitude because there is no rule saying that you have to try on a hundred dresses before you find the one so um, that's going to be my mindset going forward and I hope that that helps but um, then let's talk a little bit about the experience itself. So it was a little different than what I was expecting. I walked into the bridal shop um, right on time and my stylist was waiting at the door for me and um, she greeted me by name. She asked me a few questions about myself, asked me about the styles of dresses that I'm looking for, what the wedding will be like, where it will be and um, that's when I went through those pictures with her to give her a better idea. Told her that I'm planning to have it on the beach and that really helped her to get an idea of what kind of dresses she should pull. Then from that point we walked through the bridal shop and she showed me different dresses that I may or may not like and then from there we chose dresses that I did like. And um, we chose nine, which I was expecting that experience to be a little bit different. I think this worked so much better. I thought we would have to go in and out of the dressing room and look for dresses, but this was so much um, more efficient. And as I was trying on dresses, when she um, would hear me say different things that I liked about the dress or different things that I didn't like about the dress that I was trying on, um, it would help her to find other dresses while I was trying on um, the dresses that we had originally pulled that I may want to try on as well. So it was really quick and time went so fast. I thought an hour and a half would last forever, but I tried on nine dresses and it felt like it was in a matter of 30 minutes. So it was really fun and I enjoyed the entire experience. Putting the dresses on and off actually weren't, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. So I thought that it would be really hard to zip them and pull them up. I thought they would be extremely heavy, but they actually weren't. I didn't really need too much assistance from the stylist. She would come in after I pulled the dress almost all the way on and zipped it all the way up. And then she would just finish zipping it or closing it in the back and then clip me up. And then she would take me out of the dressing room and put me on a pedestal in the main room with this huge mirror. And that's where I would FaceTime my family and show them the dress and um, then add belts or whatever I thought the, uh, the dress needed to make it more my style. So um, again, I really enjoyed my first experience. I can't wait to make my next appointment. Um, and I hope that I find something soon, but I hope that this was really helpful if you are going into your first um, appointment and looking at wedding dresses for the first time. And I hope this helps serve as a guide as to what you should and shouldn't bring because I went overboard this time, but I did find some of the things useful. If you enjoyed this and found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you next time.